understand the first chapter in biozoology. Chapter 1 is reproduction in organisms. So here, you know the meaning for an organism is living things. And what is meant by reproduction? So reproduction is nothing but here green. Green means saline. Production. Production means generate. To generate. So generating the organism again and again is known as reproduction. Whether you have a doubt that whether reproduction is necessary or not. Yes, certainly. Reproduction is necessary for all the living organisms and it is one of the biological process also. And why do reproduction is necessary? Why the organism reproduce? So, I will say the answer. Because reproduction uh, is doing in all the organisms for the continuity of the race. Okay. So, the race should be, race of the species should be continued. So, what will happen if the reproduction is done? So, just think. For example, if uh, the bees you can say, you can just imagine, there is no reproduction occur in the bees. What will happen? So, after some time, or later times, no bees will be occur on the earth. So, what? So, if there is no bees means, surely, the balance of the ecosystem will be affected. So imagine there is no pollination will occur. So ecosystem is definitely affected. So like that the bee fish will get any honey due to the honey bee population. So like that there are number of disadvantages for that. So reproduction is necessary for all the living organisms at least to maintain the balance of the ecosystem. So let us come to the lesson. This reproduction is divided into two categories. One is asexual reproduction, another is sexual reproduction. So let us see the difference between them. In asexual reproduction, uniparental. Uniparental means single parent is involved. Okay. So in sexual biparental, two parent is involved. And here a pomix is a pomix is means no Simple diagrams. You know very well that amoeba has no definite shape. See, 
triangular shape, the plane of division occurs at, occurs at any place. Okay. So, here in binary fission, could you happen to see this? This is 
known as the basal body and this basal body is always called as gullet. Okay. So this basal body divides into two. So that a newly formed basal body gives rise to a new flagella. So the end of division starts from here. So from here the constrictions started and it goes deeply in the cytoplasm finally divides into two dotted ulina. I think you could have followed. So from the parent ulina, two dotted ulina are formed by the division of cytoplasm and the nucleus. Okay. So it's sort of like a longitudinal binary fission in ulina. Next one. Oblique binary fission. So in oblique binary fission occurs in this saratine. So division takes place in oblique manner. That is known as oblique binary fission. Saratine. Saratine is a diophagine. Looks like like this. It is a dinoflagellate. It is a narrow animal, single cell organism. Okay. And in branches, binary fission. Another type of branches, binary fission takes place uh, in strobilation.
occurs in two stages in plasmodium.
is called as cyclic morphosis. This is one that is subdivided into two types reparative and restorative. So, reparative means if any damage occurs in the tissues or in any part, that damaged tissues will be regained again. In restorative, the last parts can be replaced again. For example, you have seen the wall is not So, the wall is not Tail will be cut off somewhere. You can say. That tail will be again regrowth. That is the replacement of the last part. At the same thing, starfish. Starfish, uh, you know, they will five arms are there. If any one arm is not due to some accident, the arm will be regrowth again. So then the replacement of the last part is known as restorative. Okay. So in human also restorative on the is our nails, hands, and all. How you could understand? That is the restorative phase. So, patient, burning, fragmentation, regeneration. So, these are all the types of asexual reproduction. I think you could understand clearly. If you are having any doubt, you can ask me in the group.